I just arrived in Charlotte, North Carolina after visiting Shenandoah and Natural Bridge State Park. I didn't plan on filming this at all, but the drive down was really beautiful, especially on I-81. Like so gorgeous anyway after all of that i'm a mess the minivan is a mess and i just want to spend a few days getting my life back in order and while i do that i thought i'd show you guys what it's really like to live in a minivan today we are starting with getting groceries <laughs> I know that wasn't the healthiest grocery haul, but the food situation is taken care of, so now it is time to go do my laundry. So first things first, my laundry bag goes in the front seat. It is super full right now, so it takes up a lot of space, but normally it's not like that. I love this laundry bag because it's like a backpack, so it's super easy to carry. And I also haven't done laundry in like three weeks, so yeah, I have a lot to do. <laughs> also a quick note, make sure you have cash before you go to the laundromat just in case. Now that I'm finished with laundry, I have to put all my clothes away. Um, I keep all my clothes under my bed in these like storage bags. Um, I have two big ones like this for like my everyday clothes. And then I have one for accessories, one for the more fun clothes that I'm not gonna wear every day. One for socks, one for underwear and bras. And then yeah, that's it really. I just need to fold everything and get it organized. It's also been a mess there so this is a good time to just really get everything organized again. Got my groceries done, I got laundry done. The last thing I wanna to do today to get myself cleaned up is go to the gym. I have a Planet Fitness membership, which costs me around $26 per month. I go to the gym six days a week, sometimes less, but I plan for six days. Since I'm already there to shower, I figure I'd start working out. So for three days, I run on the treadmill, and another three days, I do some strength training with a plan my friend made for me. Today is leg day. And now I'm all clean. Good morning. Every morning looks a little different for me. It depends on my mood, my energy levels, what I'm doing that day. Sometimes I go to the gym right away. Sometimes I just chill for a very long time. Sometimes I change and get my day started. Today, I'm getting changed and getting my day started. No matter what though, I do have to remove the window covers. I need to make my bed. I need to have breakfast. I have to brush my teeth. So, let's get my day started. If there's one thing I'm serious about, it's my granola and yogurt ratio. <laughs> can't be too yogurty, can't be too granola. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't know if anybody else is passionate about that, but I need it a certain way. <laughs> On 
On days where I want to get work done and charge up my electronics, I head to a public library. They have tables to work at, bathrooms, free Wi-Fi, and sometimes even a place to refill water bottles. It's definitely one of my favorite places to spend my admin days. I'm settling down for the night and I just want to touch on one thing tonight and that is how I find spots to sleep. Like a lot of van lifers, I use iOverlander. The one time I didn't, I got the knock, so that was on me. <laughs> but when I go on iOverlander, I try to make sure that the reviews are pretty recent, like within the past year, and I just read all of them to make sure, you know, if people had issues sleeping there. I also know that this is a really big, like, no-no in the van life community, but people say, like, not to hang out at that spot. Like, you know, during the day or whatever. Um, and also not to sleep at the same spot night after night. But I do break those rules every now and then. The one thing I try to do is not be obnoxious in my sleep spot. I don't leave my van a lot, really. I don't, you know, set up camp outside. I just really try to stick to myself and be neat, not bother others. If I see other truckers or van dwellers or RVers, at the same spot it just makes me feel more comfortable like knowing that other people are sleeping near me i'm not the only one doing it i've been sleeping by the planet fitness i've been going to here in charlotte it's supposedly a good spot here in i overlander so yeah it's been good so far um pretty sure this is my third night here gonna head to sleep now i just woke up you know 30 minutes ago and the first thing i had to do was pee so by now you probably know I don't have a toilet or any sort of bathroom in my van so I want to talk about how I find bathrooms. It's pretty easy honestly I haven't really had issues so far. Public libraries are great. Big stores like Target or Walmart always have a bathroom. Planet Fitness if I'm already there I might as well use the bathroom. Sometimes I find porta potties or bathrooms at public parks. Sometimes I literally just put in Google Maps public bathroom that always brings up lots of options if I can't find anything. I know some people have like a pee water bottle, like a Nalgene wide mouth thing that they have just for emergencies or like late at night. And maybe I should invest in one, but that is an option. Right now I'm gonna head into a Walmart to use the bathroom. I also need to get water here. So I'm also gonna show you that whole process. Found the water refill station. Now I'm gonna go get my water jug. <laughs> I'm really happy with how that went because up until now, I've either been relying on, you know, free water at state or national parks, but I'm not always in the park, so that isn't always possible. Or I've been relying on just buying, you know, those like one gallon jugs at a Target or a Walmart and that adds up really quickly. I got six gallons for just under $3, which I feel like is pretty good, at least compared to like what I've been getting in the past. So I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I think just on the East Coast, there's not like a lot of places to refill water like that so i'm hoping for more of that in the future just like my morning routine every night is different tonight i had dinner at some point of course then i went to the gym for a bit after that i like going to the gym at night because it's a great way to finish up my water intake for the day use the bathroom shower and brush my teeth before i sleep when i'm done i headed to my sleep spot put up my window covers and headed to bed a lot of van life has honestly been hanging out in random parking lots. I always try to find a place that has a big, empty-ish lot with not a lot of people passing by me throughout the day. Been loving this one I found, which is the library overflow lot to the library I've been going to. It's always super empty and quiet. It's been great. Obviously, I use my laptop a lot in the minivan and I'm able to do that mostly because I have Wi-Fi thanks to the hotspot on my phone. I have a plan with Visible, which is basically budget Verizon, like they use Verizon's towers. Um, it's $25 a month and you get unlimited data and unlimited hotspot. I switched over from my parents' plan with Verizon to Visible when I started van life. And honestly, I have not noticed a difference at all in coverage. It's been really great. And for only $25 a month, I think mean, that's pretty good. Considering it also gives you a hotspot and everything, it's 
no issues so far. So in terms of cooking, I try to find a big parking lot, public park, just somewhere where I'm not really bothering others. In this case, I'm in this big parking lot I've been hanging out in. So I've showed this setup before, but yeah, I just cook in the back here, sometimes on the cooler, sometimes just on the ground, <laughs> making myself ramen. And then I just eat in the back here and I watch my Netflix. <laughs> Dumping some water from the cooler. Now I'm gonna wash my dishes. I just kind of put my water container on the side like this. For my soap, I have my towel and sponge and then my dishes and then I just wash. <laughs> So I just want to take a second to talk about weather and how I deal, you know, with the elements. So I was actually planning on filming this video in Southern Virginia, but it was going to be too cold. So I just headed further south to where I am now, Charlotte, North Carolina, because it was a much more comfortable temperature for me during the day and at night. I'm finding that I like to sleep in 40, 50 degree weather. And then during the day, anything above 50 is great for me. So I've dealt with the cold and I talked about that in my Washington DC video, but basically it's a combination of my window covers, putting those up when I sleep sleep and I just dress for the weather essentially. Sweaters, jackets, long pants, whatever. And I have my blankets keeping me warm as I sleep. And then I haven't dealt with extreme heat yet. Like I think the warmest it's gotten since I've been living in the van is 75. It does get hot in the car in that weather, but I just find that cracking open the windows or even opening the door as I hang out. I don't have a fan. I don't have a heater. I don't have anything, you know, to manipulate the weather in here but so far i haven't had any major issues with how cold it's gotten or how hot it's gotten but just like a lot of van lifers i will be heading you know south in the winters and then north in the summers and i'm pretty sure that covers everything on this lifestyle if i missed anything or you have any other questions just drop them down below in the comments and i'll try to get back to them otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye